Hello, uh, I'm going to demonstrate here uh, how to configure an IP phone, basically a Cisco, Cisco IQ IP phone using a GNS3 server. I have here a router as a CME router connected to my laptop through a loopback interface. The Call Manager Express router is acting as a DHCP, NTP, and TFTP server. The DHCP server provides uh, IP address settings to the phone. An NTP server provides dates and time which may be used uh, for tracking. Um, TFTP server, most important of all, provides the phone, its configuration files and the firmware. Without the TFTP server, the phone won't, won't start. I already configured uh, both DHCP and the NTP server on the router. Before uh, I pop in into the router uh, console, I just want to mention in, uh, one thing. Each Cisco IP phone requires its unique uh, firmware to boot up. These firmware are downloaded from Cisco website as a, a tar file is uh, downloaded and um, going to extract into the flash using a tftp server let's pop into the router's console and show you the gp configuration as you can see here my network address is 192.168.1.0 that's a 20, uh, 24 bits using my fast ethernet as, as my default gateway Option 150 is required by the phones to show them where is the TFTP server. So it's my uh, TFTP server. So this is the address where the phone will uh, use these addresses asking for their configuration. Now I'm going to extract the uh, firmware files into the flash of the router. And before I do that, let's confirm that we do have a connection to my TS TFTP server using the ping command. So as you can see, the ping is successful. We do have a connection. I have the 7940 to 7960 um, tar files the, or the iOS files for the phone. I'm gonna extract it. To extract it using the archive command, the file I'm gonna extract is tar file. And I'm gonna here extract the file. The file are located on my TFTP server. TFTP address is, is 192.168.1.11. And my file name is I already copied the file, so I'll just paste it here. Dot tar. I'm gonna extract it to my flash. Get in there. Until the extraction is finished, but unfortunately we're getting an error. Already copied the files in uh, in my flash, so I'm gonna confirm that. I already downloaded my file, so. That's why giving the error. If you didn't erase the, uh, the flash file before and you try to extract the files, it will give an error saying the disk space is full or you run out of disk space. To delete everything by using the erase command to delete everything on the flash and then use the command again. Now we're gonna go to the config configuration to enable the telephony service or the telephony features on the, on the CME router. In here, we have three mandatory commands must be typed in. The first one is max, d, and the order is that doesn't matter which one you start with, but this uh, all three have to be typed in. Max d and asking how many directory numbers you require, and it's I say I just need 20. The other one is max e phone, how many telephones are supported by this um, semi router, I say 20 telephones are supported and the last not the least is the so IP source address 192.168.1.1 this is the source address where the, the router expect the phone to request and, um, and telephony services on this interface or this IP address now we need to enable the built-in TFTP server by uh, pointing out where the firmware is, is located which is on our flash exit out of here tftp server that's on the flash we need to copy all this if you if you notice that all the names are the same but the extensions are different so I paste it here first one is dot bin and I'm gonna use here an alias so, so I'm gonna use the up arrow key and use the same command but change the extension here door s bin s bin and the loads 
area now we go back to telephone service and use here the load command load what phone is it for like 7960 to 7940 use the use the GSLS to load on the phone 960 or 940 from 940 to 960 ask for any framework framework just load this firmware while I was in the telephone service I need to create an um, CNF, CNF file that's it I'm gonna test this one by uh, powering up the IP communicator to this, uh, the IP communicator is just powered up and it's already registered with my CME as you can see there is no lines here the phone have no numbers this means you can either place a call or receive a call the last thing we're gonna do for configure is the lines on the phones here so if we go back to the command line we see that the phone has been registered um, as right here as right here the phone has been registered so that's exit out of here uh, we need the, uh, the phone MAC address so I'll just command do show this is the MAC address we needed I'm gonna copy it for now to configure the lines and uh, first use the e phone DN I give it a number one this is the number this is the ex extension number for the phone label it this name should be appearing on the phone by the bottom should be the name this label should be appearing here and now exit out of here going back uh, configure the e phone e phone one the mark address type right, type the mark address of the phone the bottom one assign one what is saying the bottom one that means this ferris bottom assign the number one of the of the dn of the director number where is the director number one Director number one is here and the number is four four zero by typing enter and resetting the phone we will see when the phone boots up, come back up, we will see that the book code is here and 441 the number is here. Now we can receive and make a call as usual, normal. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.